What's good YouTube, it's Jojo ASMR here. So as promised, we're gonna be doing an in-depth, comprehensive, detailed combo tutorial for the Fire King Wanted deck. Uh, thank you so much for the incredible support on the previous profile. It got like over 300 likes in two days, which is crazy. So thank you so much, really appreciate it. If you like these videos, uh, enjoy these combo tutorials, in-depth competitive content, be sure to give the video a like, really helps a lot. But yes, today we're gonna be going over comprehensive uh, Fire King combos that you must know if you want to play this deck optimally, uh, really important. So I recommend watching this video to the end. There are going to be timestamps to skip around to different combos just to make it easier for your watching experience and convenience. So yeah, but before we're doing that, I'm going to show you my updated list, which it's already changed since two days ago. It's way better. I would actually take this to a regional tomorrow if we had one. It's 41 cards. And honestly, this deck is really good. Um, so yeah, let's get into it. I want to show you the updated list because I always get asked like crazy to show the most uh, updated current version of the list. So let's do that. And yeah, I would play this tomorrow at a regional. I think this list is really solid. So let's get into it. I'm going to blitz through it. Uh, we play three Ponix, obviously. Three Avada, obviously. This card's amazing. Three Kirin, this is like the best card in the deck. Uh, it's a free, it's like Shavara, and it also is just non-targeting pop for no reason. Two Gurunix, very standard, and one Barong. I ended up cutting the uh, Spell Trap Negate monster, the level 4 Beast Warrior. It's just never, it just never comes up. Um, I never needed it, and it just made my, my bad hands worse, so I cut it. Uh, this is all you need. Then for the Fire King spells, two Sanctuary, pretty good. Two Field Spell, pretty standard. This is really standard. One um, Quick Play uh, Pop, which is great to search on the Crackback. Two Tenki, arguably one of the best Fire King cards. And just great to open with this package, the Diabell Star package. Sorry, yes, we are playing this. Yes, okay, it's not very budget. Uh, you can play the Nadir Servant package. There's other resources you can look up online. Um, but yeah, we're just, this is the most competitive version of the deck. I don't know what to tell you. Like, it is what it is. I'm sorry. Um, hopefully they reprint this card soon. But I feel you guys out there who might not be able to purchase this right now. Uh, we played the Snake Eye. Diabell Star, and then a difference from last list to this list, we're playing both of the Snake Eye monsters. So the big one and the small one, Snake Eye Ash, and the big one. This package makes like the deck's end boards a lot stronger, a lot more oppressive, and a lot chunkier and beefier and juicier, which is what you want when you play this deck. Um, the big Snake Eye is crazy. When it's sent to the grave from hand or field, it reborns two, like for no reason, and you're able to make crazy end boards. So, and also going second for no reason, it just like, puts a guy to the spell and trap zone which is great and it special summons one from the grave so um yeah this package is amazing it makes the end board so much stronger uh you pretty much have to play this and it gets only better post um phantom nightmare or whatever it's called then another list uh another change to this list versus the last one is i added three pot uh it's the best card in Yu-Gi-Oh. gotta play it and uh yep and then finally just 12 hand traps and you can play whatever you want in this slot, but this is what I decided to play. But feel free to change it accordingly. One thing to note is you might want to play cards like Ghost Mourner or other monster hand traps over Imperm, because when you play cards like Heat Soul Talker, you want to draw into Imperm. You don't really want to draw into Imperm, you want to draw into monster hand traps, so that's something worth noting. So, um, yeah. So that's the list. And with that said, let's get into the combo tutorial. Well, the extra deck, 14 out of 15 of these cards are pretty much mandatory. So we have Link Karibo, IP, SP, Sunlight Wolf, Heat Soul. Uh, these are all mandatory. Dark Charmer and Hida. Dark Charmer is really good, and so is Hida for facilitating easy Selene access code OTKs. Uh, Dark Charmer is easy to make with cards like Link Karibo or Diabell Star. And obviously taking their, your opponent's SPs are super strong. Uh, and Hida is obviously really good in the mirror and can, whatever, do all sorts of good shenanigans. Um, Selene, Axis, Appaloosa, these are all relevant in the combos I'm going to show you. We have for our XYZ monsters, Dingirsu, Typhon, Zeus, and uh, our Garinix. So that's the extra deck. Alright, so let's get into the combo tutorial. I'm going to be showing you one card combos, two card combos and uh, I hope you enjoyed. So this first is just what you can do with one Ponix. I think everyone knows this combo, but just in case you don't know, you have a normal Ponix, use the effect, grab Sanctuary, Sanctuary triggers, and that activates the field spell. You can now use the field spell to destroy Ponix, to search Garunix. On resolution, Garunix can summon because a fire was destroyed. Garunix triggers to Foolish Burial here, Barong, and you just pass. 
and in the standby phase of your opponent's turn, Barong triggers to search Kirin. And uh, because they, it was destroyed the previous turn, Ponix will add itself back to hand. On your opponent's turn, you can use the effect of Kirin as a quick effect to pop the Ponix to summon itself. Okay. And when your opponent continues playing special summons a monster, you can use Sanctuary to quick overlay into your Garunix. And then Garunix will then destroy all other monsters on the field. If this is outed by battle or by card effect, you can trigger its effect in the graveyard to summon the XYZ materials that were used to summon it. Keep playing from there. And again, in your opponent's standby phase, you'll add back Ponix. Oh, sorry, in your standby phase on the next turn. So that's what you can do with just one card. It's a free pop, pretty decent. But let's go on to some of the good stuff. Right, so for this, we have a two card combo this time around with Ponix and Abada. So here we're gonna normal summon Ponix, use the effect. Grab Sanctuary, use Sanctuary to get the field spell. And instead of popping Ponix here, we actually want to pop Avada if we can, because it has a additional uh, effect here that we're going to take advantage of. So we're going to make Link Karibo. Now we're going to use Fire King Island to this time pop Avada to search Garunix. So like last time, we can go Garunix, Chainlink 1, but we can also now use our Avada as Chainlink 2 to summon back a Fire King in our grave, but negate its effects and pop it in the end phase. So we're just trying to swarm the board with bodies here. We can go Garunix now to send Kirin. Kirin's going to grab out our uh, Avada here, so you're protected by Nibiru. At this point now, what we want to do is load our Garunix in the graveyard. So we're just going to link some of that off for a copy of SP Little Knight. Okay. And here you're just going to go to the end phase. This might not look too good, but it gets a lot better. So uh, Ponix is going to pop itself because it was summoned off the effect of Avada. In the standby phase of our opponent's turn, this will trigger to add it back to the hand. Let's say our opponent activates a monster effect. We can negate it with the effect of Avada to pop Ponix. Because a fire was destroyed, we can trigger the effect of Garunix to summon itself. And then Garunix can trigger again. And this time we're going to send a copy of Kirin. Now at this point, we can use Kirin's effect to special summon from our grave and pop a uh, fire or pop a card on the field. So sometimes you want to pop your opponent's cards, but in this case, we actually want to pop one of our own cards. So we're going to summon back Ponix and we're going to actually pop the uh, uh, Avada. In a new chain, we can go chain link one Ponix to search, chain link two Avada to summon back the Kirin in our graveyard. Okay, so we're going to summon this, this will resolve, and we'll grab a copy of, you can grab another Sanctuary if you want, but typically for the crackback, you'll want to grab a copy of the Quick Play spell. And then on Resolution, maybe use SP, you can banish one of their monsters. And then if your opponent special summons, we can use the effect of Sanctuary to Quick XYZ. Use the effect of Garunix to pop all monsters, including our Ponix. And then, again, if they clear this, you get two bodies back. But then the next standby phase, or in the end phase, this SP will come back. And in the next standby phase of your turn, you'll get your Ponix back. So that's something you can do with uh, Avada plus Ponix. So the wanted cards are interesting because the end boards you're able to make are far more formidable. And... Uh, a lot more juicier, one would say. So what can you do with literally just Wanted and a free discard? Let's show you. So we can activate Wanted. That's going to grab us a copy of Mum. Uh, shout outs to Luke Sacco as well. I saw him do some of these lines, so be sure to check him out and subscribe to his channel. I'll put a try, try to get Top Deck to put a link somewhere in the description box. He's a good mate. Now we can special summon Mum by discarding the random card and use that effect to get the Sinful Spoil card. Activating it, tributing this. And instead of summoning Ponix here, we're going to actually summon Snake Eye Ash. So Snake Eye Ash voters for a level 1 fire. So we're going to get Ponix. You can normal summon Ponix. Use that to get Sanctuary. Sanctuary can get the Field Spell. Now we can use the Field Spell to pop the Ponix. Here we're going to add Grinix. Summon Grinix. Use the effect. And here what we're going to actually do is dump a wrong. So now what we can do is use Snake Eye Ash's second ability. You can use the effect to send itself and one other face-up card. I know this might look cursed. You're sending your Sanctuary, and I know you must be saying, oh, well, then we don't get the effect of the XYZ, but trust me, it's worth it. So we're going to dump these to summon our big Snake Eye. So this guy has the effect when he's sent from the hand or field to the grave. 
you can summon back two level one, um, two level one monsters. It has to be two. So you can trigger the effect of your snake eye, summoning back Ponyx and your snake eye. Sunlight Wolf. Will be and here you're going to add back the Big Daddy Snake Eye. And now we just link these two into IP Mascarena. And you're just going to pass. Also, before we pass, make sure you resolve your Wanted. Putting this to the bottom. Draw a free card. So now you pass turn. On your opponent's uh, standby phase, Barong will trigger. We sent it ages ago. And that's going to search a copy of Kieran. So let's say your opponent starts playing. You can activate Kieran's effect to summon itself. And here we're actually going to pop the big daddy snake eye. And a few things are going to happen. Tons of triggers. We're going to go snake eye to summon back two. Because it just has to be sent from hand or field to the grave. And Garunix will trigger. So we're going to summon, summon, summon. You can go chain link one, search a uh, Ponix. Chain link two to search a spell. Chain link three to pop from deck. And we're going to go chain link four IP. Pop for these four. I'm going to summon out Appalooza. You can summon anything else if you want to. That's up to you. Resolving our searches now. So we're going to grab this off Ponix, the Fire King uh, quick play spell. We're going to grab another Ponix. And we're going to destroy from our deck a copy of... Uh, here we're just going to send another Kirin, I suppose. Although you can send anything else. I also would kind of recommend sending a... The elephant in this case because we want it in rotation for next turn. So the elephant triggers and it's going to summon out Barong, which will die in the end phase, and that gives us free follow up as well. And essentially, in a new chain, what also happens is Sunlight Wolf will trigger to add back a uh, fire monster from our grave back to the hand. So you can just add back the Snake Eye once again to loop it next turn on turn three to push for game and put more pressure on the board, as Fire King Island can just pop this. Okay, so that's pretty cool. That's just from one wanted. You get four, ma four material apo, you get tons of follow up, um, and it's pretty decent overall. One of my favorite two card combos to open is Garunix and Wanted together. So this is going to be uh, even stronger than just Wanted. So we can start by activating Wanted to grab uh, Diabelsta. We can go Diabelsta effect to summon itself and send the Garunix. And we don't feel bad about this at all, because Garunix can summon itself from the graveyard as well as from the hand. So we're going to get the Snake Eye card, activate that, sending Diabelsta to grab Ash. Then Ash will trigger to grab Ponix, normal summon Ponix, activate the effect. To grab Sanctuary, Sanctuary is going to grab a copy of the Field Spell. Now we can activate the Field Spell, popping our uh, Ponix. Because we already have Garunix in rotation, instead we're going to grab a copy of Kirin. Now we can trigger Garunix from the graveyard to summon itself for free. And we'll use that effect, and in this case we're going to destroy a copy of Avada. Avada then triggers to then summon out a copy of our uh, Ponix. And just like last time, we're going to use the effect of Snake Eye Ash to send two cards, including itself, to summon the big Snake Eye. But because we have an extra body on our board and we opened... Um, a copy of uh, Garunix, we can actually just send the Ponix. So now we're going to summon Snake Eye. And we're going to do the exact same play as we did last time. Link these into a copy of Salamangrate Sunlight Wolf. Trigger the effect of Big Daddy Snake Eye. Summon back two. Okay. We'll trigger Sunlight Wolf here. And this time we're actually going to add back the Snake Eye once again. All right. So now we're just going to make the IP Masquerina as we did before. And we're going to pass play to our opponent. Now the reason why this is the exact same as last time on our opponent's turn, at any point we can use Kirin to pop Snake Eye, trigger Snake Eye to summon two, as well as triggering Garunix to summon itself. So one, two from Snake Eye. And we'll summon out the Garunix. We can go chain one search, chain two search, chain three pop, chain four IP. There we go, so we're going to send uh, this one. We're going to send Garunix. We're going to send this. And we're going to send this. To make four material Appaloosa. Or SP Little Knight or Heat Soul. It's up to you. I tend to go for this. Resolving the chain now, we're going to get a search off Snake Eye Ash. We're going to get a search off Ponix. We're going to get a destruction from our... Um, from our uh, chicken, 
from our big chicken. <laughs> so we're going to uh, dump out here a copy of Kieran. So then Kieran's going to trigger to summon from our graveyard. And then if our opponent, you know, continues to play the game, what we can do is just uh, use our Appaloosa Negates. And then we can use Sanctuary to now overlay into our uh, Garunix, which will then clear everything. But it's literally fine because you, you already have so much follow-up. All right, so for the last combo, let's say we open Wanted and Tenki, which is really strong. We can activate Tenki here to grab Avada. Normal summon that. Activate Wanted to grab Die Bellstar. Special Die Bellstar. The reason why this is strong is because you pretty much get to send the Tenki for free. And that's going to grab the Snake Eye spell, which we can then activate. Grabbing Ponyx. Ponyx triggers. Getting Sanctuary. Sanctuary. Grab the Field spell. Here, what we're going to do is we're going to link this into Link Karibo. Now, this might not always be the correct play, to be honest, because this plays really heavily into Ash Blossom because you might not have another Fire Monster in your hand to negate. But just for example, we can activate this to pop this. That's going to grab Garunix. Channeling 1 Garunix. Channeling 2 Avada. Summon. Summon. Garunix's effect will trigger. Sending Kirin. Kirin will trigger to summon back our Avada. You can get a free draw at this point with Wanted. All right. And then at this point, you can just do like the same board where you link these into SP Little Knight. End phase, uh, your Pop, uh, Pop Ponix will die because it was special summoned off the effect of Avada. And in the standby phase, you'll add this back. You get a free Monster Negate off this on your opponent's turn. Maybe use SP. And then Grunix triggers to summon itself. Grunix triggers again to pop Kieran. Kieran triggers to then summon itself and pop a card on your opponent's field, so you, that might be useful to know. Um, so you can summon out Ponix and destroy this. Chain link one Ponix, chain link two Avada to summon back this. You get a free search here. So we're going to grab a quick play spell. And then when they summon, you can link these, or sorry, XYZ these into Garunix. Use the effect to destroy everything, and in your standby phase, you'll get this back. Here's just another version of Tenki uh, and Wanted that you can do instead of the previous board. Uh, you can activate Tenki, grabbing your Avada. Activate Wanted. Grab Diabellstar. And here, instead, we're actually going to use Diabellstar to send um, the Avada. Which, I mean, I don't know if I would personally do this play, but it's just another option that you can do, which is also has merits, to be fair. And that's going to grab your Snake Eye. You can use that to summon Ash. Use Ash's effect here to grab a copy of Ponix. Now we can normal Ponix, use that effect. We can grab here Sanctuary. Sanctuary gets the Field spell. Here we can use the Field spell, sending to pop Ponix. Search Garunix. Uh, at which point we can go Garunix Chain Link 1, use Garunix's effect. We're going to dump here Kirin. Okay. Now we can use Kirin's effect to summon back our Avada. Right. Now we can use Snake Eye, Ash's effect, to send itself and the Tenki to summon Big Daddy Snake Eye. At which point here we can link these two into a copy of Salamangro Salon Wolf. Now we can trigger the effect of our Snake Eye, summoning back both Ash, Ponix, Sunlight Wolf will now trigger, and here we can get back Kieran. From here, you have a few options that you can do. Okay, so one of the things we can do is we can make uh, IP Mascarena, for example, and there's merit to this as well, right? Another thing you can do optionally is link one of these into Link Karibo. Okay. And then link both of these into Deco Talker Heat Soul. So Heat Soul is also really good, has merits as well. We can get one draw. And keep in mind we have uh, three other cards in the hand as well. 
right? You can also use the effect of wanted, which don't forget to use, putting our snake eye to the bottom to draw another card, right? And at this point here, you can either just leave this as it is, which might be pretty good, or you can link these off into IP. And uh, on your opponent's turn, you can go standby phase, heat soul to draw one. This IP at any point of the turn can go into SP Little Knight, right? Um, there's one thing to note that you need to have another fire monster in your hand to do this play. Uh, if you do not have another fire monster in the hand, keep in mind, you can always technically pop your heat soul as it is a fire monster with Kieran, but most of the time you'll always have another fire monster. So let's say that we did, Kieran can summon itself by popping, let's say, another Kieran. Let's say, for example, we drew, uh, let's say it's just any fire monster, even Ash Blossom. Uh, we can then trigger Garunix to summon. Garunix can trigger to pop another card. You can make whatever you want. You can make the rank eight or the rank seven, whatever. And that's another play you can do. One other little thing I will just quickly say is there is a neat interaction you can always sometimes do with Avada and Kieran where sometimes you'll have a board state where you just have this on the board and your opponent will activate a monster effect. You can negate it and destroy it. And what you can actually do is you can actually chain Kieran. Let's say it's the only fire. Be like normal summon Aluva effect to search. You can actually chain this to negate it. But what you can also do is then chain Kieran to pop this, to special summon this. Then your Avada triggers to destroy Kieran. And in a new chain link, Kieran will go chain link one to summon this. And then Avada will go chain link two to summon back this. So you get both of these back. So that might be a play that's useful if you're trying to push for pressure, if you're trying to push for game, you need more bo uh, bodies on the board. So just keep that in mind that you can always do neat interactions like that. So those are a ton of combos. We went over the one card combo with Ponix, with Wanted, two card combos with Tenki and Wanted, with um, Avada and Ponix, with uh, Garunix and Wanted, just a bunch of different combos you can do. So I hope you found this informative. I hope you found this useful. 